Hi everyone! There's a new game from the makers of Neko Atsume, the cat collecting game, and this time it's a frog game. It's got the same art style and it's really cute. I put some pictures on Twitter and some of you are asking what it was, so I thought I'd make a video to tell you all about it and how to play. It's all in Japanese, but it's really easy so you can still play even if you don't know any Japanese and it's available on iTunes and Android for free. I'll put the links in the description. So, what happens in the game? Basically, you pack items into a frog's backpack, he goes off traveling, then brings you back souvenirs and photos of where he's been, and that's it. There's little surprises and it's really cute. So, like Neko Atsume, it's a low maintenance, waiting type game that you open up every now and again to see what's going on, so it's not gonna be a massive time drain and the music's really cute as well. That was one of my favorite things about Neko Atsume, how the music was really soothing, especially when you're feeling stressed. It's called Tabi Kairu. Tabi means journey or traveling, and Kairu means to come back, and it also means frog, so it's the perfect name. <laughs> Next, I'm going to tell you how to play and then I've got some tips for you. But first, if you like cute things, have a look at my designs. I love drawing cute characters and I put them on t-shirts, cushions, dresses and enamel pins. You can see them all on cakeswithfaces.co.uk or cakeswithfaces on Etsy. So, how to play. In this game, your currency is clover, like the fish in Neko Atsume. They grow in the garden, or sometimes you're given them. You harvest by tapping or dragging your finger over them, and they make a really satisfying, springy, popping sound. With the clover, you can then buy items for your frog for his travels, like food, good luck charms, and traveling equipment. The shop icon's in the bottom right, with a picture of the two bags. The hiragana says omise, which means shop. It helps if you learn the hiragana for yes and no, hai and ie. If you don't know hiragana, ie is the one with all the vertical lines. The other icon in the bottom right with the house takes you inside the frog's house so you can see all his stuff and it's really cute. Tap the bottom left to open up the frog's backpack and you can pack items in three categories. Obento, food, good luck charms and equipment. You don't have to fill up all the spaces. Then he's ready to go traveling. You don't have to do anything to make him go. Just pack up his bag and he'll go when he's ready. To go back to the garden, tap the icon in the bottom right that looks like a letterbox. In the menu in the top right, you can see the souvenirs and pictures you've collected. You can also get to it with the little doorway with the curtains inside the house to get to the back room. So the game's all about seeing where the frog goes, saving up for the more expensive items, and little surprises along the way. Like, sometimes there's a visitor. Quite early on, I had a visit from this cute snail. You can give the visitors food, and sometimes they send you something as a thank you. There's also a lottery, which is something you might not realize is there at first. So how do you get a lottery ticket? Sometimes, like when you've had a visitor, there's a letter in the mailbox. Tap it, then tap height to view an advert. You need an internet connection. Sometimes you get a lottery ticket from the frog as well. You need five tickets to play. Go to the shop and tap the icon in the top right. At the top it tells you how many tickets you've got. If you've got five, you can tap Mawesu to play. If you get a white ball, it means you've lost. And if you get a colored ball, you win a prize. There's special items like train tickets and special treats. Finally, a few tips for you. Number one, before the frog's first trip, you have to close the app, then open it back up again. Sometimes it might seem like a long time before the frog comes back, or it might seem like nothing's happened, but it's a waiting game. You just have to wait. Number two, if the frog's not there, you can leave items on his desk and he'll take them with him when he next goes on a trip. You get to the desk the same way you get to the bag. Don't press the button at the bottom of the desk because it clears away all the items. When you're done, just press the cross. It is okay to press the button at the bottom of the bag and you can tell the difference. The bag is blue and the desk is yellow. It's best to leave items on his desk just to make sure he doesn't go away with nothing. Number three, if the frog does go out without anything and doesn't come back, you can tempt him back with food. Just put some food on the desk and he'll come back. Number four, when you get a photo from the frog, it's not saved automatically. 
press the button to add it to your album. And number five, where the frog goes depends on what you pack. So if you give him more expensive food or fancier equipment, he can go on longer, more exotic trips and bring you back better souvenirs. The type of equipment determines where he goes. So it's all about making different combinations and trying to collect all the souvenirs. And that's it. The links to download it are in the description and tell me in the comments how you get on. If you want to see more of my artwork, follow Cakes With Faces on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. And I've just booked my next trip to Japan, so there'll be new Japan videos coming up soon. There's also a few more Disney World videos for you as well. So I'll see you soon. Bye bye.